So what do you think of these charming fellows? This is a Nazi henchman by the name of Joseph Goebbels. And this is Stephen Miller. A, a, you could call him a henchman for Trump because he's kind of really into locking up the kids along the border and doing everything else terrible uh, for people with mainly brown skin. Nice, huh? And this is Sahara from FYI Sahara YouTube. You can find me uh, on the Google search. Um, just type this in FYI Sahara and we'll be on the same airwaves, hopefully, together. And I have some interesting things to bring you. Let me show you little Stevie Miller's chart. He is a Virgo, right in the very beginning. Um, beginning degrees can be quite powerful. And they feel like they're in a hurry to accomplish something. That I know that because I'm at a uh, almost a zero degree of Aquarius. And you always are in a hurry to get somewhere. You, you have this feeling of wanting to wrap things up. So... He is Capricorn Rising, usually one of my favorite rising signs. However, he he has, he, unfortunately, he has a fantastic chart that uh, will take a lot, a little more uh, look-see in the future. I just wanted to bring awareness to you. You might remember one of my previous YouTubes that where I went over the 13 degrees uh, in any chart. And um, I have a 13 degree in my chart, and it's bought me you know, nothing but trouble. I think it's my karmic um, thing to deal with. So, and, and he has 13 kind of predominant in his chart. Here it is at um, Leo. Here it is at um, Sagittarius. It is trying. He has a fantastic chart. What does that mean? You think, oh, good, a good guy. Well, don't not so quick. The one thing is that I have noticed is Jupiter retrograde. I have seen Jupiter in many aspects in the first house. And when it's retrograde, it's me first, and it's never good. The one thing that we need to look at is I don't see, if he has problems in the future, he'll always get off free. The prisons are full of people like him. They don't serve much time. They get off on good behavior. They become best pals with the warden. Everything is a piece of cake for them, no matter what they do. Trust me, I have a nephew with Jupiter retrograde in the first house. He was, he got arrested by the time he was 20. Uh, he, we're talking white-collared crime. These people, they don't like to get their hands dirty. And he got off easy, did a lot of damage, and he's going through life doing whatever he wants, privilege. And he gets away with it. So the Jupiter retrograde I've seen in many aspects. If it's in the self side of the chart, meaning the uh, first, the, first, the uh, left side of the hemisphere, it's all about me in the left side. When it's over here on the right side, it's all about you. Uh, I, I've seen that happen. When it's over here, other people with Jupiter retrograde cause you problems. Now, the one thing that is good to, not good to note, this is not good. We have our goal on the fifth house. This, our goal comes Alcohol comes from alcohol. It means crazy. And also, he who loses his head. Where is it? It's in the fifth house of children. So there's like this huge problem with children. And then via combusta is here. And this is fiery way of the later degrees of Scorpio. So look out with these aspects. And this affects children. 
This guy is really into locking up little children on the border and who knows what else they're getting shipped around. You know, I'm hearing things about selling uh, children's parts on the black market for body parts is getting creepier and creepier. These guys, will they get off okay? I don't think, this is, this is really bad. This guy is, people feel that he is Joseph Goebbels' reincarnation. It's such a similarity. And this guy liked to lock up people and you know really the atrocities go on and he was a, hench, a higher up henchman for Hitler. Now we have Stepin, little Stevie I call him. So we've seen the um, adverse uh, aspect here to children and uh, evil things uh, as far as this is hopes and dreams. You know, so you have to worry about what he's dreaming of. <laughs> His hopes and dreams aren't so wonderful. And uh, little children, I hope you watched some of the charts I did on Trump. If you need to know more, please subscribe and I'll refer you to these these charts. This is Trump. You know, he's lucky too. And the one thing that astrologers note is sometimes the lucky ones do the worst the, the worst problems. They're, um, they can get, the problem is this is why they end up in jail. They, they can get, and they're lucky. They can get away with things, and you do it over and over and over. Trump, Trump has bragged about this in the past. He says, I can do whatever I want. I could suit, suit somebody on Fifth Avenue, and no, nothing would happen. And he's learned that he can lie and do whatever he wants. Now, here is the interesting. The, there was a full moon eclipse uh, Halloween of 2017, and truly, that was the end of Trump. It did, but we're having a slow death here. In 2000, October, the beginning of October, let me see, it was Halloween really. The Mueller investigation was started in Fire and Fury by James Comey came out. That should have been the end of him. It would have been the end of the local dog catcher, let me tell you. But when you have luck, it's hard, you're hard to bring down. Think of that statue being pulled down of Saddam Hussein. It takes a lot to pull the lucky ones down, unfortunately. And if they don't have good spiritual grounding, they do lots of harm. Look here at the midheaven, and I want you to look at the previous charts I did on Trump, and it shows the uh, misfortune is a good way of putting it, and also destruction of children, that this house is very afflicted. The funny thing is, with this degree, you're going to see one of his children step forward when the dust settles and do some charitable works and write mainly write an interesting book that uh, shows spiritual growth. There's a little enlightenment here through the, the disaster uh, to the children here. And I, I do feel like it's Ivanka. She will learn and she will try to take what she's learned about the destruction to the children and women, uh, women's causes. But she's a writer here. She just doesn't know it yet. Let's hope so. That's not the main thing here. We have Al Gol, headless person, weeping sisters. This is the most destructive uh, star, big star in the zodiac. Following right behind it is via combustion at the last degrees of Scorpio. So we saw the same thing with Stephen Miller and with children. For Trump, it's the career and uh, his home and this oh, this means you end up headless you topple the um, the end result is never good it's just taking a lot to pull these guys down and here we have Regulus Regulus is the same thing a, a fixed star infamous for bringing fame and fortune 
to those that don't deserve it. Uh, all the kings and conquerors of the, fast, the past had this, and he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. These are fixed stars, they're ancient in their meaning. However, they hold true to this day. Now let's go back to our little Virgo friend, um, Trump's evil henchman. And believe me, if these guys don't get stopped, there will always be people like this in the future. They're always there and they can do terrible harm. And if you trust the astrologers and uh, trust the astrologers and intuitives to uh, help shed light on the uh, uh, on the situation. So look here, this is the 10th light house right here. You're going to, we're, look, the Mayans believe this. The planet closest to your midheaven, if you were to go outside and look straight up, which you would have, but in some cases the earth is curved. If you look straight up, the planet is, that is straight up is your destiny. Pluto is the plutocrat. They crush. To get power, they do anything. Um, they rule death and destruction uh, and rebirth. However, the rebirth is tough. That's like Nazi Germany after they had to rebuild their whole country. Cause, and same with the uh, Japanese. They were bombed to oblivion and they had to rebuild. So it's not easy. This is, this is destruction to everybody but him. And he will bring that death and destruction. Will he get away with it? He's got a chance. He has a completely excellent chart. And if you have an excellent chart, use it for good things, please. Because you will get caught in the end. Albeit you might end up escaping from a bunker. <laughs> or getting off for, with a treat from the warden. But you've caught so much harm. This is harm. I'm going to, to cause harm. This is the worst aspect you can have for children. Uh, trust me. My dear husband had this degree on his fifth house and his children were awful to him. And when he became disabled, they deserted him and he cried. So that can happen. His children were terrible. You don't know how it's going to play out. So does Stephen Miller have evil children? Or is he evil to children? I would expect his his own children turn out to be really mean to him, and they just I think he already has problems with his family. Um, wonder why. So in the 13th degree, if you look back at my, if you subscribe, look back at my past videos for the uh, degree of 13, 13 here and 13 here. So some of the degrees tell the story. Uh, 13, I mean, sorry, Pluto, death and destruction, planet of death, the dark star, the uh, Algol, planet of beheading, and it's terrible. I, I can talk forever about this particular um, fixed star. And this is Faya Combusta, um, if you have that. And, uh, but overall, I'm not putting out the good aspects because it, he, I'm just telling you, he, if you want to study it, he has an excellent chart. Can, will he do good things with it? That so far has been very, he's been a scary character on the national forefront. So I will bid you do, I've got some more on 9-11 is is a topic that interests me and I've done the charts uh, for this and meditated on it. So uh, subscribe so I can bring you some uh, interesting insight into the 9-11 disaster.